Hi, in this section, we'll see about what is the SAP implementation cycle and what are the role of different consultant. If a company is going to implement the SAP ERP in the system, any SAP implementation is divided into different phases. Like here, we can see the first phase we can divide as the project preparation. Second is like business blueprint, then realization and testing, final preparation, go live and support and improvement. So we'll see one by one in detail. Project preparation. When a company decided to implement SAP ERP, generally they purchase the license from SAP and the implementation in Dell done by implementation partner. Like there are many partners available in the market, IBM, PwC, Accenture, PIT. There are thousands of companies who do the SAP implementation for the clients. So initially, the business consultant from the implementation partner along with the process owner of the client. They have a meeting and detailed discussion on the project. Some points which they discuss in the phase of project preparation are as below. So initially, the implementation partner to generate all the knowledge about the current business process which client is using. If they are implementing SAP, so they might be using some other software. So first they understand what is the client business process, how they are doing the transitions, <coughs> They do the complete study of the process. Also, they understand the complications, what challenges they are facing in the current system, and they make a complete business flow as per their understanding. Also, they understand what is must to have and what are the nice to have requirement. They also study about if any external interface if client is using with the existing ERP. Most of the time, big company, they use a lot of different softwares depending on their expertise and they integrate with their main ERP. So this is called as the external interface. They also get details of the number of users and how they're managing their role in authorization. And finally, based on the discussion, they make a complete document that is called as the as is process. As is means current business process of the client. After finishing the project preparation, next phase which is coming is the business blueprint. In case of business blueprint, the functional consultant, they go through the complete as is process of the client and they decide to map their current process in the SAP system what solution they will be providing in SAP and this is called as to be process based on as this process they make the document and it is called as to be process the points generally in the to be process are as below uh, in the business pro, uh, business blueprint are as mentioned below first they highlight the as this process of the customer then they mention to make their current business process, what are the modules they are going to implement in SAP? Because the model which are to be implemented is depend on the client business, type of industry, and other factors. So, in generally, for manufacturing industry, they go with finance, SD, MMPP, and some other models which are common. In business blueprint, functional consultant also make the complete configuration area and steps that they will be doing to meet the client requirement. They also mention what are the technical modification, enhancement, custom development which are required to be done by technical team to meet the business requirement. As SAP comes with a predefined best practice, but every organization to meet their business requirement, they require around 20 to 30% of customization 
that is done by the technical team so that is also mentioned by the functional consultant in the business blueprint document they also decide the project scope schedule team size and the support they will be required from the organization so business after the preparation of business blueprint they have a meeting with the client that is generally called as the kick off meeting in kick off meeting they share the complete business blueprint document and they also get the official sign of the client this is called official start of the project after the kick off meeting once the kick off meeting is done and both the implementation partner and the client they agree on the terms and condition which are mentioned in the business blueprint then the next step which comes is the realization and the testing now here in this phase the actual role of all the comes uh, consultants comes into picture so it starts with the basis consultant like when we purchase the sap software the basis team first they have to install the sap system in the development server they also set up a system landscape which is generally called as the development quality and production and the basis team initially they create the users in the development system for the functional consultant technical consultant and core team member who will be doing the configuration testing and the other technical development based on the business blueprint so all the functional consultant of different module like fi sd mm they do the complete customizing in their respective business area this all the does be done in the realization phase the functional consultant has to make document of all the settings which they do in the system so that the any other consultant can refer to document and can understand what setting the functional consultant has done the technical team also do the development as per business blueprint like the development of report development of forms if any announcements are there custom application development so here technical team also do the development activity as per the functional specifications given by functional consultant now after finishing all the customizing and the web development the functional consultant do the initial testing of the business process which they have decided and based on that which they have done the customizing setting the functional consultant do the initial testing of the system they also create the test cases and they also prepare the user manual then according to user manual the core team member do the complete training the functional consultant also arrange a training program for all the core team members of each module like fi sd mm because every erp software they have different process so core team member required the detailed knowledge about that so it is better if the functional consultant provide them a user manual with all the test case so this all is done in the realization and the testing phase then come the final preparation so if in the testing phase if the core team member or the functional consultant if they found any errors so that all errors they fix in the final preparation they make all the object ready for a go live process and after doing the required is one modification they again complete did they again do the complete testing of a final cycle and the system they make as ready for the go live process in the go live process as the all the development generally they do in the development server and for testing it is moved towards the quality system so in the go live phase the all the objects whether it is in development or quality all objects need to be transferred to the production system once it is available in the production system then only the client will be able to use here basis team also create the users in the prd system according to the role and authorizations that is required by the client and there a lot of data need to be created in the prd system as a initial data load 
Suppose a company is having other ERP with thousands of metal code. They have the customer ledgers, customer open ledgers, vendor open ledgers, sales order, purchase order, etc. That all they have to upload first in the production system. Before doing that, they decide a cutoff date. Like for let's assume for one week, they will not do uh, they will not do any transaction in the old system. That will call as a cutoff date. They move all the data in the PRD system, and one real time testing is done by the end user in supervision of the functional consultant. If any issue comes, the functional and technical team do the required modification, and finally the complete system is handed over to the client with all the documents and the user manuals. So once the goal is done, after that there is a come of continuous improvement and support. Because while implementation, they initially decided to go with a must to have functionalities and some de development they kept pending which they can do later on after the go live. So continuous improvement and support is a regular activity. Most of the time after successful implementation, the client make an in-house team who take case of care of their support and most of the company they also hire some external agency to do their regular supporting activity like upgradation, modification and new development. So this is all about the SAP implementation cycle and role of a SAP consultant in an implementation project. Thank you.